Hello, today join me for a huge shop along at my local Sephora. If you are gearing up for their spring sale savings event, you are definitely gonna wanna watch this video before you go shopping. I'm gonna share with you skincare, hair care, and makeup for mature women. I'm going to share with you products that I've tried and loved, products that I've tried and not loved so much and may recommend that you pass on, and some new finds. Sephora has brought in some wonderful new brands that I'm gonna share with you. Definitely stick around to the end of this video because I have some tips for you if you join and subscribe to our channel on how you can get even better savings, perhaps, than the Sephora savings event sales throughout the year. So let's go down to my local Sephora and see what we can find. The first thing I always do is hit the mini section because there's often something in a mini size that I've been excited about trying. I did find Cali Ray and the Tarte Mascara, the tubing mascara. So I'm gonna be doing an upcoming video on that pretty soon. So let's head back to the skincare section. I wanna share with you some of my favorite finds. Here's the Pep Start. This is one of my all time favorite mineral sunscreens by Clinique. They did not have the new launch. They have a new mineral sunscreen, which I was really excited to try, but that wasn't in my store. And my strategy, is I go in, I do my reconnaissance mission, I make my list, then I go home, I fill my basket, and then I do pick up in store just so I don't go on the day of the sale and have all that rushing and have to wait in line. It's just the store is a little too crazy. So I have a bit of a strategy. Like I said, I go do my reconnaissance, I make my list, I put my basket together, and then I do a pickup order, which is so much easier for me. The Inky List is definitely an interesting brand, but I haven't found anything that I've been interested in lately. Here's Topicals. This is their Slather Body Care. Absolutely love this. I've gone through so many tubes, I can't even count. It is a beautiful body lotion with retinol, AHAs, BHAs. It just does a beautiful job at exfoliating and it also has a retinol, so it helps with skin turnover. It has made all the difference in my skin. Honey is another body brand that I've been wanting to try out. They kindly sent me some products in PR. Their water balm is something I've really been curious about. And I will be testing and trying this line for you. Like I said, I can't give you a review on it now because I haven't even tried it, but it's definitely a super popular brand at Sephora for body care. Necessaire body products are new to me this year. I've been trying their retinol body lotion and also their body peel. Their body peel is 12%, so pretty intense, but the retinol body lotion is 0.1% retinol and it has a lesser percentage of the AHAs and BHAs. So it's gently exfoliating and resurfacing. Alpine is another brand of skincare that I haven't had a chance to try yet, but super excited to try. They did send me this in PR. And again, I'll be doing an upcoming review. The most exciting find was Do Skin Care. I'm so excited to see this finally in Sephora. This is one of my all time favorite brands of skincare. I love their Instant Angels. I love their gel moisturizer. I love their Deliverance Serum all around fantastic brand if you're looking for mature skin friendly skincare. This is one of my new finds, the Fenty Puddin. I love this lip gloss and I did a review on castor oil recently. I found out the third ingredient in their lip mask is actually castor oil. So you could just substitute castor oil for this Fenty lip balm mask, but I'm loving it. If you get the occasional mature skin breakout, you can't go wrong with Paula's Choice 2% liquid exfoliant. It'll have your breakout cleared up in no time, but don't forget to keep your skin really hydrated. Even though you're having breakouts, you don't wanna dry it out too much, so make sure you're still using a great moisturizer. In Beauty Project is a new brand to me. They sent me their Extreme Cream, which I'm going to be trying for you guys. I can't give you a review on it, whether it's great for mature skin at this point, but I will be reporting back. One of my favorite lip products is the Laneige Lip Mask. I've loved it forever. If you haven't tried it and you're curious about it, they have these cute little minis and you get a pack of four little minis. I would definitely pick this up for my purse. Another lip favorite is the Tatcha. I love their lip mask and it's really a guilty pleasure. I do love several of the Tatcha products. One of my all-time favorite moisturizers is the Dewy Skin Cream. I always have one of these on hand. I have a lot of moisturizers that I love, but this is one of my favorites. Now, as far as cleansers at Sephora, I've tried quite a few, but I haven't really found one to replace the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser that I just loved for years. It ended up over the last year, I'm not sure if they changed the formula, starting to irritate my skin. So I've been on the hunt for another cleanser, and one that you guys recommended is the Tatcha Rice Polish. 
Now this was sent to me in PR and it's definitely in my queue of cleansers to try. But if you have a favorite Sephora cleanser, definitely leave me a comment on the hunt for a cleanser. If you have a favorite at Sephora, drop it down below. Now during this Sephora reconnaissance mission, I was on the hunt for Dr. Idris's skincare line because they've just launched in Sephora. Now, if you've been on my channel, you know I love their deep puffer for redness and for under eyes. And I also love for hyperpigmentation, their major fade hyper serum. Unfortunately, they haven't put up the display in my local Sephora. They said they're putting out more on Thursday. So if I have a chance to go back on Thursday, I will tack some video at the end of this video. And I should mention that all the products in this video are going to be listed below. And I will try to remember to do timestamps. I know you guys love timestamps and organize this at the very least by skin care, hair care, and makeup. So let's move on to the Sunday Riley section. I love Good Jeans. It's been one of my all-time favorites skin resurfacing treatments for my evening routine. And I also love the Pink Drink Mist for a lovely hydrating toner. I've tried the Fresh Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. It's really not one of my favorites. It's a little bit too drying for mature skin. So I would say that this is a pass. Elmas's Balm Cleanser is one that you guys recommended. I did pick up a mini of that. I've had this for a while. It's also in my queue of cleansers to try. The Dr. Jart Seek Appear 30% SPF is great if you have some redness and you want to kind of camouflage that. It is a fairly thick product, so go very sparingly on it. And you would have to use a secondary sunscreen over it because it's just not quite enough sunscreen coverage. Dr. Jart also has a new barrier serum. I have a little sample and I'm excited to try it because I have a feeling it's going to be really nourishing for mature skin. Here's a section of Sephora's top sunscreen sellers. I have not tried any of these brands. Innisfree, Hello Sunday. I have tried these. So if you have a favorite sunscreen that you love from Sephora, please put it down below. My favorites are the Murad City Defense and the Clinique Pep Start. A quick reminder that not all the brands are going to be available in store so you may have to look online for a couple things especially like skincare devices i love my little foreo bear i do have the foreo bear plus but i honestly prefer the little one a little bit more it kind of contours my cheek a little bit better and this one has so many different levels that i really don't use the number four, number five. So if you're gonna get a skincare device, definitely look online. They have also the New Face products. So if you're looking to get one, you can get a little bit off during the sale. Also, I'm not sure that the Dr. Aegis line will be in stores. You may have to check online. So just a quick reminder that some of the products aren't gonna be available in the store. You have to jump online, which is great because you can fill your basket and you can do your pickup order and your online order. They just split it up for you. So it's super easy. Well, let's wander over to hair care. Now, Nutrafoil is a product that you guys have been wanting me to try for hair loss. I'm definitely game to try it. I'm gonna implement Rosemary first and then I'll introduce the Nutrafoil. I like to do one product at a time to kind of see what's working. Let's wander over to the styling products. One of my favorites is Carry Toss. This is the Curling Manifesto. I've used this for over a year and repurchased it. I love it. Gives my hair a little bit of a bounce. You can't really see it today because I got caught in a rain slash hailstorm, but usually this kind of gives my hair a little bit of a curl. I haven't tried too many of the whey products and I haven't used Olplex in quite a while now. I did like their purple shampoo. My favorite bond repair treatment right now is the Living Proof Bond Repair. Love that along with the Epri spray that I'm using. My favorite dry shampoo of all times is the Living Proof. This is their advanced dry shampoo. Love it. Kind of gives me a pick me up during the week and it also comes in travel sizes, which is super convenient. I've tried their shampoos. They're okay. I actually put it on my husband's side of the shower and he's finishing them up for me. The Purology shampoo and conditioners have been a long time fave. I'm currently using the Strength Pure. This one's okay, but I definitely prefer the Hydrate line. I've tried their blonde shampoo, the purple shampoo that they have, but it really deposits a lot of color and it actually stains my hair. So I've moved to their Color Fantastic. This is a top coat that you can put on and I actually prefer this. This is only available online in my area. I've given the Vigamore shampoo and conditioner a try. I don't feel like it really helped grow my hair, but it was a nice shampoo and conditioner. Now headed off to the front of the store for some makeup. One of my favorite 
eyeshadow palettes is the Tartlet in Bloom. This is their Amazonian clay palette. It's my all time favorite for neutrals. If you're a minimalist makeup girl, you're gonna love this palette because it has you covered. You really only need one palette. And then if you want to pick up another one, I like the Too Faced Naturals palette. But honestly, if you like a minimalist makeup look, this is probably all you're gonna need. When I did my tinted moisturizer review last year, you guys really liked the way the Maracuja tinted moisturizer looked. I thought it looked a little bit yellow, but you thought it fit my complexion really well. I recently picked up the Tarte Tubing Mascara. I'm doing a review of tubing mascaras and this is in the mix. So we're gonna see how this performs in a video coming up in a few weeks. Two of my favorite blush products recently are the Tower 28 Beach Please. This is in Party Hour and this is in Dream Hour. I love them both. They're beautiful for mature skin because they're cream-based. They go on beautifully, blend out and sheer out beautifully for a nice blush. Now the Tower 28 mascara, I've decided I'm going to be retiring because it's just super clumpy. And I've heard that you guys are saying the same thing. Some of the tubes that you're picking up are super clumpy. So either they're just on the shelf too long, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. One of my favorite complexion products that I've been using this year is Ilia. It's their super serum. And this seems to be a love hate between people. Some people find it a little bit too glowy. Some people love the glow, but I really enjoyed it. It has SPF 40. I always wear sunscreen under it anyway, but I've really enjoyed it. And I reviewed this in my skin tint review earlier last year. I'm going to be doing an updated review on skin tints. So if there's one you'd like me to try, definitely leave it down in the comments. I'll also post it in my community page and you guys can give me some recommendations on some skin tints you'd like me to review this spring. A favorite eyeliner I found earlier this year when I was doing the eight mistakes to avoid for mature eyes is the Makeup Forever. This is in sand for the waterline. It's an aqua resist, so it's waterproof. You just put it in your waterline and it just brightens up the eye. If I'm ever unsure what mascara to recommend, I always fall back on Too Faced. I've purchased the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara multiple times. I always have one sort of floating around either in my purse or on my shelf. But if you really want a go-to that's been around forever and it's fairly reliable, that's a good one to pick up, especially because they have minis. Now, Merit is a line that I've been totally curious about and I've heard that it's better to pick it up in Sephora due to the customer service issues, but I really wanna try their dual lip to cheek products. I'm very curious on the shape of this product and all the different colors. And you guys have said it's very mature skin friendly. One of my all time favorite Westman Atelier products is their highlight in Lit. I love this for over the cupid's bow, just at the top of the cheekbone. It's a beautiful highlighter. It's just kind of a sheer highlighter with a little bit of iridescence, no glitter at all. I've tried Westman Atelier's Vital Complexion Sticks, and I find that they're a little bit heavy on the skin, especially for mature skin. I like kind of a lighter look where your skin can kind of peek through. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation is loved by many of you, and if you can find the right shade, it's a wonderful complexion product. I had trouble finding the right shade. They all run a little bit too warm for me. Hourglass Makeup has been a new find for me. They sent me a ton of products in PR. I did a recent video on a neutrals on neutrals mature makeup look and I loved every product that I tried. I love their concealer. I love their skin tint. I love their balms. I also love their Ambient Light Trio. You can use it as blush, you can use it as bronzer, you can use it as a highlighter. Absolutely one of my favorite finds as far as makeup of 2024. I did like their Unlocked Mascara, it was okay, but like I said, I'm in the hunt or on the hunt for my new favorite mascara. This was okay. I didn't get a ton of fallout the day that I trialed it last week for the video, but I did get a little bit today. But like I said, I was in a rainstorm and I was running around and I did put an extra layer of it on. So I ended up with three or four layers. It's very light, so you do have to kind of layer it up, but I love it because it doesn't clump. Also love their Vanish Primer. I was really surprised by this. It definitely gives your skin a nice dewy look before you apply the skin tint. Now you may or may not know that Hourglass has a skincare line. I've tried their cleanser. It was kind of meh. It was a little bit drying to my mature skin and it has a bit of a grit in it. And I don't like my cleansers to have any kind of a scrub texture to them. So this was a pass for me. 
Another product that I picked up from Sephora recently is the Stila Color Correction Palette. I absolutely love this. I did have to purchase this online and I didn't see it in stores, but this is a fabulous product for mature skin. If you're looking to do some color correction, if you have some redness or some veins over the eyes or your eyes are a little bit dark underneath, a little bit purple, this is a wonderful complexion product to color correct any imperfections on your skin. You can use it all over the face. And I did a recent video on how I use this product and I will link that up above and down below. You can go check that out. This is one of my favorite finds of 2024. Another favorite find of 2024 is the Rare Beauty Lip Gloss. I love this. In fact, I absolutely love this. And of course, I love the mauve color. It's absolutely beautiful. I love these lip glosses and I wish they had more colors. Maybe they have more colors online, but they only had three in store. I've really been curious about the Rare Beauty body care line. Allie Glines did a review and she said it was pretty heavily scented. I smelled it in store and it wasn't too bad. If you like fragrance, this could be one of your absolute faves. But for me personally, I like my body care products to be fragrance free. Heading over to Charlotte Tilbury, I have two products that I absolutely love from that line. This is their blush wand, super messy, hard to apply, and their superstar lips absolutely love this product and I do love this blush it's a cream blush but it's really tricky to apply actually it's just the packaging that's a little bit off for me but I do love the colors it cosmetics makes one of my absolute favorite concealers it's very lightweight it's a serum like texture it definitely competes with the hourglass and it's not quite as pricey so if you're looking for a serum like under eye concealer, definitely give Bye Bye Dark Spots a check. Just as I was finishing out at Sephora, I forgot that I wanted to check out the Laneige, their cream hydrating toner. So I ran back and checked it out. This is definitely one I'm going to be picking up during the sale. I had a little mini size of it and absolutely loved it. And you guys highly recommended it and wanted me to give it a more thorough review. So I'm definitely gonna be trying that. They also have a new water cream and you can get it for normal, oily, and very dry skin. So I might pick that up. If you guys have tried that, definitely let me know down below. The sales associate was raving about this. She said it's one of her faves for her dry skin. Now I wanna give you some tips on how you might even do better than the Sephora Spring Sale Savings Event. If you are part of the Beyond 50 Skin family, you'll see down in the description a link to all my brand discount codes. I update them all the time. I always keep this link down in the description and pin it in a comment. And like I said, I try to update it weekly with any of the changes. So you can always save a little bit on your favorite brands and don't hesitate to reach out. If there's a brand that you'd like a discount code on that I don't have, I'll definitely reach out to them and see if they can help us out. That's one benefit of being part of the Beyond 50 Skin family, as well as I post these special friends and family sales like Mira just had 25% off. If you're not familiar with community posts, there's also a link down in my description to community posts and you can go on my front page and you should be able to find the community tab where I keep you updated on sales or I just post a picture, keep you updated on what's going on in my life. I also sometimes do polls and try to get your opinion on what you'd like to see on my channel. So definitely feel free to save the link down below for the brand discount codes and definitely check out my community page often and regularly. That wraps up all my recommendations for your mature skin for the Sephora Spring Sale Savings Event. Remember this is a tiered sale, so I'll put all the dates and all the brands that are excluded, which I think is only the ordinary, down below in the description and pinned in a comment. Thanks very much for watching and wishing you all a fantastic day.